The Ahmed Galadima Foundation and Peace Building Experts have now urged the integration of peace education into schools in Andaman State. Ambassador Afsat Ibrahim Mudipo has stressed the importance of diplomacy, education and collaboration in cultivating peace. Dr. Bashir Imam emphasized the significance of understanding history and cultural diversity in promoting peace in the northeast of Nigeria. Dr. Francis uh, Olajere uh, Awudun also emphasized the uh, need for peace uh, education in younger generations. Nigeria is abundantly blessed with resources, but lack of proper management and extreme disparity in ways to have lead to violent extremism. And you could all believe, you could all see that actually the disparity between the rich and the poor is wider and is glaring. Government must respond to specific needs of the youths, especially because we normally say youths are the leaders of the tomorrow. And peace education and advocacy in conflict resolution are necessary for lasting peace. This is what is required all over the world at this present period. It's not only not is that it's first, but in Nigeria, we are at the extreme. That we are trying to put barrier between ourselves. In reality, there are not. Today, even if you come to an event like this, you see it manifesting. You see when a Muslim comes, he will just look where are Muslims are sitting. If a Christian comes, uh, where are the Christians are sitting? If it, if it is among the Christians, where is our church? Yes. So he fell for those for his own church and go and incline towards them. Why? From where did we get this screen? and petition who is behind petitioning us it is the evil of, of our own deeds and the evil of our own politicians justice and what development if i've done something wrong they should not say is he a muslim they should not say is he a what christian let us find a way of solving that problem and let me get the reward of the negative they have done and let it go across. Then we, we are looking for peace. Respect and tolerance each other. My brother and sister there. By the time we stop or we, we don't encourage tolerance, even between husband and wife, it's a big challenge. Am I right? Yes, Leaders in Northeast Nigeria hold significant weight over the congregation and the community. Their influence is rooted in the following. One, moral authority. Religious leaders are often seen as custodians of morality. Make them well positioned to advocate for peace and reconciliation. So people learn the moral way of life from the religious leader, and because of their standing and the respect they own in the community, they are people that are supposed to stand in the gap and tell people how to live a life that goes with the moral standard the way God wants it to be. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.